Hello students, uh, let's start the last chapter of midterm that is chapter 9 introduction to scratch. Now we need to get scratch on our computers so that we can use it. For that I have opened Google Chrome and I will write the URL that is scratch.mit.edu. When I am pressing enter the website for scratch opens if you are connected to good internet you can simply uh, click on create to get scratch online okay if you don't have uh, good internet in that case you can have the offline editor for that what we need to do we will open a new tab write scratch.mit.edu press enter the website opens and we will scroll down to click download as you click download the option to download comes here we have the operating systems like windows 10 mac os chrome os android etc and then you can click on direct download and follow the instructions to download the offline that means scratch application on your computer okay after installing it will look like this let's see in your book it is scratch 2 but the latest version is scratch 3 or scratch desktop where stage is on the right this is the area where we will see the movement of the sprite this is the green flag to run a program this is the red button stop button to stop a program this white blank area is the code area or script area where we will drag the codes for the sprite and these are the blocks which we will be using okay so let's uh, make a simple project and this is the button to choose a language we will definitely choose only english and then file edit are the menus if you click on a file we can save the scratch work and if we click on the edit mode it is just uh, not very useful for us now let's make a good scratch program so uh, see this are known as sprite okay so this is the character we will be working on but if you want a different character you can simply click the delete button here and then go to this button which is a choose a sprite button click on it it will open a library for you okay and we have so many options so many options here so let's see what we can take mm. okay let's take jamie okay we will keep jamie here all right we will keep jamie here and then on the right hand side we have the option to get a backdrop backdrop is the background of the stage so click on it okay take a background which is good so let's take this one okay so this is the background and now what we will do we will uh, make a code for jamie so what we need to do here is first of all we'll go to events take this when green flag clicked so the program will run when we click on the green flag all right next we'll go to motion and we will use move 10 steps okay move 10 steps and then we will use um, go to looks use next 
costume okay next costume and when i put it under when green flag clicked and click on the green flag see it has moved a bit that is 10 steps because the screen is too small 10 means very marginal and it changes the costume costume means the pose okay so what we will do we will take it back now we will go to control and add weight one second and we can click on this to edit i will use 0.25 less than a second now what i will do i'll go to control again it is already there i will use forever okay i will use forever and i will put it back there so now when i click see jamie is walking and it is also stopping now to avoid that step we will go to costumes and uh, we will delete this costume okay this one also we will just require jamie walking so these are the costumes so you can understand that it will move 10 steps and change the pose it will move one step and change the pose so it will look like it is walking so go back to code these are the three options where we are switching one is sound one is code so code in a code uh, tab we are uh, making our program so now what we are seeing is that Jamie is continuously walking but it got stuck on the edge of the stage to avoid that we will go back to motion block and we will uh, scroll down a bit and we will use this option if on edge bounce see when it is bouncing on the edge it got upside down and it is walking see again as it touches the edge it will walk on the other side it will walk on the other side at, as it touches the edge all right now what we will do we will use one more thing that is set rotation style from left to right and you see now it is absolutely perfectly walking but jamie is walking here and there so let it be no problem so this is the first program you have made and this much is there in chapter 9 we have chosen a, a backdrop we have deleted the cat sprite we have added the jamie sprite and we have made a program where it is moving 10 steps and changing its pose which is next costume then it is waiting for 0.25 seconds and when it is on the edge it is bouncing back but when it bounces back it turns upside down and to stop that we have used set rotation style left to right what we have done we have simply clicked a code and got it on the scripts area or code area in your book in your book the interface have stage on the left hand side blocks on the center and scripts area on the right hand side and in the latest version the stage is on the right hand side the code area or script area is at the center and the blocks are on the left so this is the only difference we have but it works similar so please try to do the uh, work 
scratch work and enjoy let's do one more uh, thing so for that i'll go to file and click on new it will ask me to save it i will just click replace okay now what i'll do i will delete the cat sprite okay i will uh, choose say beach ball okay i'll keep the beach ball in the center choose a backdrop 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 uh, choose a backdrop say desert okay choose a backdrop say desert and what i will do um, I will go to costume first and see there are only one costume so I will choose a costume which will be like balls another basketball another Nothing is there, nothing is there. Okay, next, uh, let it be these three balls. Go back to code, go back to code. Ah, let's use glide random position. Okay glide to random position and let it be 0.25 seconds okay all right let's use this again okay hmm. glide to random positions we are using next we will use is uh, from the looks next costume okay next costume and then we will go to event block take when green flag clicked and from the control block we will take forever and from the control block itself we will take wait one second and we will edit and let okay let it be one second and this way we will uh, make the program let's run it It is gliding from one place to another and the ball is changing. So this is what the program means. Gliding means it is not walking. It is randomly going to positions on the screen. And next costume means it is changing the costume where I have selected three costume. One was a beach ball, basketball and baseball. And then it is waiting one second and repeating it unless and until I click on the red button. Now the same thing we can watch full screen like this. Okay. So these are the way to use scratch programming. Please uh, practice and learn. Thank you.